on FS1. Marcus Cousins made his return last night after missing the last 14 games with a quad injury, but he wasn't a factor. He came off the bench and only scored three points, going 0 for 2 from the field in eight minutes. After the game, Steve Kerr said it's a huge adjustment for Boogie to play the Raptors after such a long absence. Draymond Green also took the blame for Pascal Siakam's huge game promised to take him out of the series. So Shannon, what adjustments does Steve Kerr have to make? He's probably going to have to play Boogie, Skip. I know he probably doesn't want to play Boogie because Boogie needs the ball in order to be effective. And if you give Boogie the ball, that means Steph and, and Clay does not have the ball. Mm. But he's running out of bodies. I don't, mm. you know, KD's not going to play. We don't know if Iggy's going to play. And if he does play, how long and how effective can he be you in hope, playing? You hope he doesn't. It, it doesn't matter to right? me because i got three cases on this. Mm. So I, I feel okay. very comfortable. Mm. I feel very comfortable with where I am mm. right now. Mm. Um He's going to have to go deep into his bench. And I know that's not what he wants. You, normal, normally teams shorten their bench. The further they go in the playoffs, the shorter their bench gets. They mm -hmm. want to know the guys they can count on. Your starter's going to play heavy mm -hmm. minutes somewhere up with a 38 minutes a game. Kawhi played 43 last night. Steph was at 40. Draymond was at 40. Clay was at a little over 39. So that's what you, that's what you see. See, I can play 39. Mark Gasol and Kyle Lowry would have played more minutes, but they got in foul trouble. Mm -hmm. So they had to rest. That's what you normally rely on. Mm. Well, he, no KD. Iggy's banged up. You're going to have to go to a guy that you know can get you buckets, but you don't know that was the old boogie. This boogie has been, has been out for, what, six, eight weeks? And then he was coming off a major injury, so he was just rounding back into shape mm -hmm. before he had to go take a seat again. Sure. Mm. So those are the only things that I can see. You know, they trap, try to get the ball out of, Kyle, uh, Kyle, out of Kawhi's hand, but in trapping, you end up with... Steph on mm. Siakam, mm. Steph on uh, Mark Gasol, mm. and that's what they want. Mm. So those are the only things that I can see him doing, Skip. Hmm. So, Jenny, this hmm. is ironic because the man across the table has been saying for a week or so, you cannot play DeMarcus Cousins in this series, right? Right. And then he just made a I bet ag against Golden State, and now he's suggesting publicly that Steve Kerr go ahead and play Boogie. I right? said those are the judgments oh, that I can oh, see you making. Okay. What, so who you, oh, you want you oh. Drevko, you want Drevko to play 35 minutes? Quinn Cook? I do, Come not, on, Looney. I do not want DeMarcus Cousins playing one more second. <laughs> I need Steve Kerr to go to him today, okay. tomorrow, maybe Saturday, and say, we love you. We want you back next year because, remember, he's going to be unrestricted again. Oh, yeah, yeah. But we do not need you right now. We have to go back to playing Andrew Bogut for eight or ten minutes because he can rim protect. He can defend at a much higher level than DeMarcus ever thought about. And I love him, especially as an offensive player. But we know that defense has never been his right. first priority. And Bogut is the only guy that didn't get off the bench last he night. He didn't play a second last night, and that won't work. But the main change that Steve Kerr needs to make is not strategic. It's motivational. He needs to light a new fire under his team. And it probably got lit last night without him having to even lift a finger or open his mouth. But obviously, they got outplayed last night because they got their butts kicked by a team that just played a lot harder than they did. They weren't used to the RPM because they had just cakewalk through Portland. And I know they came back from 17, 18 and 17 down, but the RPM was different because this is the best defensive team in basketball. Right. And you pick Steph to be the MVP of this series. Mm -hmm. And I think he will play up to MVP standards in game he two. He played well last night. Because what have we said from the start? This is his opportunity to say, you know what? I don't have to have Kevin Durant to win a championship, even though he publicly swallowed his pride and went and recruited him after they blew the three to one lead to your LeBrons. Now is his chance. Now is his time to shine and say, I can do this. And they were on a roll. The narrative just got changed last night and you were being prisoner of last but night's yeah, moment. I mean, like he needs to rise and shine. He had 35, five okay, and five. All right. But their team, did, I'm talking about diving for loose balls, fighting for offensive rebounds, and number one, just simply getting back on defense. Right. Draymond Green got embarrassed last night. And you know what? I think he has enormous raw pride right right now. And he's going to stick it back in Siakam's face. Well, you got, you got Iggy missed, you know, he missed four wide open threes. Draymond was 0 for 2. Um, Steph and Clay, 3 or 6, 4 or 9. Um, they shot those guys. I mean, it was just Iggy gave him six points, and Jordan Bell gave him two. 
okay? What I'm saying is you're going to see a different look from the start from Golden State. You're going to see urgency and intensity because to Chris Broussard's point, I think they did take Toronto a little lightly. Like, okay, they're kind of newbies, but they're they, really not newbies to this. They beat you twice. Okay. Why are you underestimating somebody that's already beat you twice? Okay, but they look back at those games and they said, okay, so number two didn't play one game and Steph and Draymond didn't play in another game, so they didn't count. Well, I, I can understand that they were going to take them lightly, Skip, if KD was there. But when you're under man and you're missing 30 points a night, once you get to a certain level, you realize this team can beat you. Mm -hmm. This is not an accident. Mm. They beat someone four, they beat three teams four times in order to get here. Okay. So clearly, they have the firepower to beat you. They beat Orlando, then they beat a team that didn't really have Joel Embiid. Get it and then in. they beat a Giannis who got exposed. Yep. It was, overrated. It, it was the it was quiet that pulled the curtain back okay. so everybody could see it. All right. Well, maybe the curtain's about to get pulled back on mm. Toronto on Probably Sunday not. night for not, three not, cases. Be, not before I get them three cases up off you. This. Uh, I got you this. You said they're going to have a different yep. look on Sunday. Will they do enough to bounce back? These two will make their final picks. Yep. No more changing. Next. And I won't back down.